Western media is full of an ideology called postmodernism. This week's Bible in the News looks briefly into this subject in the light of the Bible. Postmodernism is hard to define. It is a movement, a mood, a world view which has been gaining popularity in the last 30 years. The basic idea is that humans cannot trust their own reasoning skills. That the way we think has been preconditioned by our culture. Therefore, what we believe to be true is not actually true. It is a perception, an interpretation of something which we think. Postmodernists say that language is simply the labels that the powerful in society have used to impose their truth on the masses. For this reason, Political correctness is now high on the news agenda to ensure anyone who uses language language which might suppress or impose their culture on others is brought to account. Postmodernists say that the law has been used as the mechanism to maintain power by the dominant cultures of society. Law is now used to attempt to rebalance this, as the recent Bible in the news about Archer's Bakery highlighted. The bakery had refused to print an anti-homosexual marriage message on a cake because it was against the owner's Christian values, and the government pursued and fined them for so doing. This is postmodern, in that the law is being used to rebalance society and include these groups who are perceived as have been historically oppressed. Postmodernists say that history and literature has been written by the victorious, who are all biased because of their culture. And so we find that in academic circles, texts are deconstructed to reveal these biases. One of the most common is to look at Shakespeare and deconstruct his stories to seek to reveal how he was a sexist. They go even further too. It is suggested that society as we think of it is a human construction. That it is based not on right and wrong, but based on what the powerful have wanted us to believe. Truth, they say, is therefore subjective, depending on your culture and upbringing. They believe man is trapped inside his cultural prison, never to escape. And therefore, instead of seeking truth through logic and reason, we should focus on what feels right, what emotion connects us as individuals. If it feels good, it's true for you. We should never impose our truth on others because, say they, all truth is equal and valid. Many of the ideas of postmodernism can be traced back to a German philosopher called Friedrich Nietzsche. These couple of quotes from him help to define the mindset. Quote, you have your way, I have my way. As for the right way, the correct way, and the only way, it does not exist. End quote. And another, quote, there are no eternal facts, as there are no absolute truths. End quote. This view is now permeating through most of the society in the West, especially when it comes to the big questions of life. The quest for truth has been given up on. No longer do we see uh, proper debates on fundamental topics. It is now unpopular to put a view across which dares to say others are wrong. What we are witnessing is the death of truth. It's a new wave of human thought and it is a powerful one affecting many areas of Western society. Now, the Bible teaches that man is indeed in an unreliable state. 
The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? We read it in Jeremiah 17 verse 9. However, unlike the postmodernists who have therefore concluded that we should give up on looking for absolute truth, the Bible offers a way to a being not touched by the problems of humanity. That being is almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. The Bible presents God as the source of truth, a God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he, we read in Deuteronomy 32 verse 4. His word, the Bible, is defined as the scripture of truth in Daniel 10, 24. And Jesus says that God's word is truth in John 17, 17. The Bible claims to be penned by men and women who were compelled to write down words directly from God in a process the Bible calls inspiration. Therefore, although it may be beyond humans to decide on truth for themselves, the Bible offers a way in which we can perceive a universal truth. And that truth is the self-expression of God. Truth is that which is consistent with the mind, will, character, glory and being of God which has been revealed in his word, the Bible. This has been Matt Davies joining you for another Bible in the News. Come back next week, God willing.